absolute pleasure to uh, to welcome you here today for the second year uh, on the trot. Uh, I met with Ian at Innovate UK it's almost about two years ago now. Um, and the reason why I think there was a synergy, I don't think there was uh, uh, actually in, in, in Ian's mind to start off. We, we hosted a stand. Uh, basically, one of my colleagues said, uh, you know, we're here today from that West, come and have a chat to us. And uh, a little bit of, uh, of healthy uh, um, sort of uh, uh, doubt, really, in terms of Ian's mind. Cut long story short, uh, my wife um, has been working on a, a pilot programme which is a collaboration between Essex County Council and Age UK and that programme is, is solely set up to try and help reduce isolation and loneliness within an uh, elderly population. And, and actually that was something I knew a, a certain amount about because of obviously my wife going through that particular um, um, scenario, job recruitment and, and some of the challenges that she kept coming back. So when I was able to relay that back to Ian, um, it was kind of a, you know, a, a sort of a, a spark really that, that ignited. Um, I think the other challenge as well for me, I don't profess to know a huge amount about care for the elderly. What I am is I'm comfortable being uncomfortable because I quite find that actually when we're working with entrepreneurs, that's what you're asking them to do day in and day out. They're putting themselves in so many different challenges, so many different situations. And I love being in that environment where you're learning, you're sapping in new industries, new knowledge uh, and new contacts. I think that's particularly important. From a bank-wide point of view, it's not ne necessarily the most natural partnership that you might put together, but I think it's incredibly important. One it's the right thing for us to be supporting because we are going to grow out, uh, more old, hopefully, uh, and actually we are going to need different types and different levels of care. But I think there's also the business case and we shouldn't shy away from that. If between us we can construct and profile and prove the market, the demand and the need for age-friendly homes, I think there's a huge, huge marketplace that the SMEs that we support, that we are lucky enough to bank, can then in turn actually benefit from. In terms of our ongoing commitment, we met here, we hosted the conference over two days last year, and it was an absolute pleasure to do so. Obviously, we're here again today. Just within that 12-month period, I'm really, really pleased to actually see that from a very broad uh, brush uh, of, of sort of topic that we uh, tackled last year, we've actually really been able to focus now on the age-friendly home. So it gives us a more specific and actually does prove that we've made some, some progress. I'm pleased to say that actually come next year's conference, we're already in talks in terms of what that looks like. We are also, as a result of the session today, we are working on a more intense alternative finance solution for those innovators, for those businesses, where actually there is a great idea and what they're looking for is to try and navigate some of the funding questions and challenges that they're actually uh, faced with.